Hi, so let's get started with this very easy VFX tutorial. So we're going to go over to the After Effects to Blender export GitHub. I will have the link in the description. So we're going to go to code and download the zip file. We're going to wait for it to open up. So there we go. Click open. And click extract all to extract the zip file. Great, now that the file has been extracted, we can go over to After Effects, click on File, click on Script, and install, script, uh, sorry, install script file. <laughs> then we're going to go over to where the download is of the file, open the folder, and click the JSON file. Now, I have this installed already, so it's going to show this, but for you downloading it for the first time, it's not going to pop up, it's just going to download normally. Great, now we're going to go over to Blender to install the plugin in there. And we are going to go to Edit, Preferences, Install. We're going to go to that same folder. And there's going to be a Python file there. And we're going to install that add-on. Great. It has been installed. Let's just check that it's there. So we're going to go to File and Import. And yes, the After Effects composition data has been installed. Now that we have all our plugins installed, we're going to go back to After Effects to do our camera tracking. So we're going to load our clip in After Effects. Here is my harbor clip that I made earlier. Wait for that to import. So to do the camera tracking, we have to go to Effects and type in Camera 3D Camera Tracker. Maybe spell it properly, that would be good. There we go. So now we're going to take this 3D Camera Tracker and drag it onto our clip. Now we're going to let that analyze. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it's quick. It depends how long your clip is. Right, the analysis is complete and we'll be able to see all these trackers on your footage. Now if you zoom in, find the trackers where you would like to place a solid into. So I want to be tracking the floor. So I'm going to find a po point where I'm going to place the trackers on. And I think this is the one. So now I'm going to right click and create solid and camera. And this will create a solid for me and a camera. So now I'm going to click on the solid and just move it around to make it look like it's lying on the floor a bit better than it is right now. So it really depends on what you're trying to track. If you want to track something on the building, you can totally do that. But I would like to be tracking the floor for this tutorial. So let's just stretch it out a little bit. Great, so this is good enough for me. So now we're going to select the camera and the solid and we're going to go to File, Script and Export that JSON file ready for Blender. Now we're just going to name the file. So I'm going to name the file Harbor 3 and export. Now that our export is complete, we can go to Blender. Here's my new scene. I'm going to start by deleting everything out of the scene and I'm going to go to file, import, and we're going to import that JSON data. So if we just locate where we saved it, here you go, Harbor 3, import. If I click on the camera, which is zero, you can see that we have our tracking right here. So first things first, we're going to do some settings. I'm going to change from EV to cycles and I'm going to resize the file. I know that this file is 180 by 920. Now I'm going to click on the camera and we are going to go to camera settings, background images, and we're going to stick our movie clip into the blender. Here's my movie clip. Perfect. Don't forget to turn up the opacity. And if we go to color setting, sorry, color management, I always like to make the view standard because it makes the movie click look better. We are now ready to add some animations. So we're going to start with making this track solid into shadow catcher. So we're going to go to object settings, visibility, and make it a shadow catcher. Now we're going to click on the render option. 
Oh, there we go. See, now we can't see this. So now we have to go back to render settings and go to film and make the whole thing transparent so we can see our clip. So can you see this solid has disappeared because it's now a shadow catcher. So now for my 3D model, I'm going to use Blender Kit. Of course, you can use whatever 3D model you would like, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use Blender Kit. So I'm going to open my Blender Kit up. And yes, I wanted a robot because I was searching this earlier. So I liked this one, so I'm just going to drag that into my scene and wait for it to download. Now that a uh, robot has been downloaded, you can see it's all black. So that is because we have no background. So in Blender Kit, I'm going to go to the HDRI section and add something that matches this scene. So I think something that would be good to match the same, maybe this. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And there you go. Can you see it's creating a shadow? So now we're going to look at the shadow from our movie clip and then our robot and we're going to match up that shadow. So we're going to go to shading. We're going to click on the render view in shading. And we're going to select world. So here we go. Here's our HDRI. And now if we go to the Z rotation, we can just play around until the shadow matches the shadow of the movie clip. So I think 43 or even 40 would be good here. Maybe even 38. Okay, 38 looks perfect to replicate the same shadow as in the movie clip. Now we're going to go back to layout and we're just going to press seven so we can see the bird's eye view of the robot and turn it around so we can see the face of it. So we're going to select that object, press R, press 90 a couple of times. And can you see our object is facing us? Also, let's make the object bigger. Awesome. So can you see how this shadow is being cut off and the robot is slightly um, dipped into that solid that we made? So we're just going to mess around and place the object properly. There we go. So now the shadow is perfect. And we're going to play the clip and see if the object is working with the scene. And yes, it is working with the scene. Great. And of course, here you can add any animation you want. You can have all the effects that you want, do whatever you like. But for me to keep this tutorial short, I just wanted to do this one model. So now we're going to go ahead and render. Now, I wanted to show you that if we render this out right now, it's not going to have the movie clip at the back of it. So it's only going to render our little robot guy. So give this a few seconds. So here, can you see it's only rendering the little robot guy. So to fix this, let's turn off our render and we're going to go to compositing, click on use nodes. And here we have the render layer and the composite layer. So if we click shift a and find an alpha over, and connect the render layer to image number two. Shift A again, look for a movie clip, connect the movie clip to the image on the top, open it, find you where your movie clip is and open your movie clip. And now the last node that we're gonna place, again, Shift A is going to be the viewer node. So if we just plug the viewer node into the alpha over can you see now, we can see that the movie clip and the little robot guy has been done. So let's run this out and see the results. And this is the final result. Of course, this is very simple because it was for a tutorial. But like I said, you can add lots of different animations and special effects and make your VFX video look really cool. But the fact that the tracking is working and it's much easier, I find it much easier than doing the tracking in Blender and it's very quick. And it's a super efficient way to work. So I hope you guys try this tutorial out and let me know how it goes. Until next time, bye.